Welcome back to more Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Now it's, uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go gambling. Yeah. <laughs> oh. so, during during so. the parts between the two and three, before Stefan said very questionable things, uh, Mexi, you were gonna say something about the music in this game. Yeah, so, um, the boss music, the little duty that Stefan was editing to make it sound like Megalovania, um, Nintendo remixed it and reused it in the other Mario Game Boy game, uh, Donkey Kong 94. So, like, the Game Boy fucking killed it when it's just, like, solo Mario games. Yeah, Donkey Kong 94 is another damn good game. And, and in that one, he's Mario. Like, I know in, like, Arcade, he's Jumpman, but he's straight up Mario in, uh, in the Game Boy game. And, uh, yeah, for, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... And what well, looks like he's, he's, he was also Mario in Donkey Kong Jr. That's right. Like I changed my mind. First of all, it looks like Mario's just moonwalking across the entire level when you do that. Oh no! See, it just God, I didn't. Just as I, I, I didn't, I didn't realize the point of this level, but then I, I figured out that you're supposed to jump on all the Goombas like si like sequentially so that you can get lives. Like that's the point of this oh. level. Because, spoiler alert, when you get to the end, nothing happens. So far, oh, so far, well, you I should was, start over. I, I you probably could if you <laughs> stop taking hits left and right. <laughs> <laughs> so far, do you show off the um, 20 jump in this game at all? I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah, I already jump. did okay. a couple you times did. earlier. Okay. Yeah, to, to, there's one where you got to get a power-up under the block in the first level. Oh, yeah. yeah, the game. Yeah, just like in uh, Mario World, uh, the game has the twirly jump, but it isn't used as often as it did was in world. It's great for it's great for the fire flower though, because you can just like burn bastards on both sides of you. Both yeah. sides of you. They burn yeah, like no. bastards. Oh. You know, I'm gonna I'm You're gonna so say something tiny. quickly. If, even though it, all it is, all it is on the main on the main map, all it is is just like some straight lines going back and forth. I'm gonna say it. For the Game Boy, that fucking water is incredible. <laughs> I fucking said it. I fucking said it. This was my favorite zone, by the way. Yeah, macro zone. That's also another oh, thing awesome. we haven't mentioned. This game stole from Sonic. It did. Which one? In what way? The fact that it calls level zones. Oh that's right, a Sonic thing. How oh. dare you? Oh shit! I was like, wait a minute. Oh. Wait, I don't. And, and this game came out in '92, so exactly. it was Sonic one, had... one year after Sonic. Sonic already had right. two games out. Two games. Two game. Two game. Four, uh, if you count Master System game. Well, no. Oh, good point. This game's a fucking ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> That's this right. Was Sonic was originally supposed to be a rabbit. A rabbit. Fucking <laughs> still. <laughs> <laughs> and I and, and they... the final boss is just a big fat guy. Like, in, it's, it's just a robotic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those ants, they're like Archimedes. They stole from Ken Penn. Those are crab. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pender stole from this. <laughs> no, Ken Pender's created everything back in 1927. 1927. <laughs> back when he, back when he was a seaman in his daddy's ball sack. Oh, uh -oh. Back, back in my day, we didn't semen. have lawsuits. That's fucking amazing. Back in my day, we didn't have lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Pendles would have hated living in the twenties. Then he couldn't sue anyone over anything. Oh. So is it like a three-piece lawsuit or? Yeah. Oh. I love it when Ken Penders puts on his three-piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up, son. Did, if I yes, fucked up. Yeah. I was like, can I make it? Uh, nope. Nope. No, there, there's not the uh, run and slide in this game, is there? No. Oh, God. Ah, there's like not. Dude. See, if you, see if Mario games back then didn't have, didn't have like that. Uh, oh, well, let me go back. Oops. <laughs> dude. Oh. dude. He died. Oh, oh, the, the, the run and slide <laughs> wasn't nostalgic enough for them <laughs> to put it in the game just yet. He didn't even get into the house. He died in their front lawn. <laughs> me when the, I'm going the ants home. Have, <laughs> the ants have... Oh, I was gonna say rockets, but those aren't really rockets. They're more like pea shooters. This oh. is the worst I Shrunk the Kids reenactment I've ever seen. <laughs> the least you could have done was pick a better mall parking lot to do it in. So that's what the happened to the Disney Get Your Doll. That's what instead of the one ant dying, now many ants are dying. No, Anthony! Is... 
Is this Where's the, the oatmeal? It, it, was, it was Auntie in that movie. Where's the oatmeal cream pie? I it. Look, see, I got three lives. It's okay. No. Oh. It doesn't make any of this better, Stefan. Look how small, look how tiny his sprite is. It's adorable. So how did Mario shrink? Magic. No, the house is just big. Oh. <laughs> that, that's why it's called that's macro That's why it's called macrozone, not microzone. Yeah, dumbass. Oh. <laughs> it's macro because everything else, yeah, because everything else is big. Yes, yes, thank you for explaining it. Everything's a W for Wombo. Oh. So, no, so no, for Wario. Mono means one, and rail means rail. <laughs> well, who lives in the big house? All oh, those, those little beetle guys, they're like, they're like a precursor to Heracross. I love them. So, so you know, one, one actual thing I do think it is a pretty, you know, impressive technical thing is that I, from, I, haven't, I haven't gone back to play like Mario 1 or Mario 3 in a while, so what I'm about to say might be incorrect. But the fact that, generally speaking, if you go down a pipe, it doesn't cut to a new screen. The, the camera just goes down. I think that's pretty impressive for the Game Boy game because the, 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 the entire map is just Mario just goes through the, the entire map and once it doesn't cut away to different screens when you go yeah. down pipes. And this, I think that's pretty game, fucking sweet. Well, this, this game, game actually does a has lot more some like, stuff wacky things than the original map. game. Which is interesting considering how much less powerful the Game Boy is compared to the NES. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Well, I, mean, well, like, I, I, th I think even compared to like Mario Bros. 3, I think every time you go down in a pipe in that, the, uh, it just cuts to a new, a new like, screen. It, it, the yeah. cameras don't follow you anywhere. Uh, I think, yeah, because I think it, yeah, it's because wh whenever you... Oh, <laughs> you died. It's because anytime you go into... Because anytime you go into a your pipe, it's like, yeah, it's like its own your little section of the level. While in this game, it's like just a tiny, there's like just a tiny like little like spot that you go into Mark that you can just easily go back right up. What is he landing on? I don't get what these guys are because it looks like you can hit them, but immediately once you go to jump on them, then no, they I fly th away. No, I think if you, if you have the superstar, you you become fast enough where you can catch them up. But, and they but probably I give think, you life. But I think like it's only a handful of spots where they are. You have access to a superstar. So yeah, I, mm. I, I don't get it either. But oh, they yeah. don't want to die. Just leave them alone. No, they have to die. It's natural selection. But, oh. Is it natural selection if rude. Mario is a human force upon them? Seems oh more... man, you're in the house. I'm very excited. Oh shit. It's not I like called. Like it's the, not called. The colors. Softy, man. No, I was just kidding. It's not called genocide no. if it's not called natural selection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's... Uh, I was yeah. gonna say, I, I love how the. What? Bro, why include this? <laughs> why include this 15 seconds for? Um, I was saying, like, I don't, I don't then we'd those, wonder where the, oh, the we would wonder the where the four lives went when the life counter dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually glad you did that because you know what I love in this in, in the the hub world for this world, the because it's just like Mario. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was just me purposely fucking up. I wasn't even trying right. at that uh, point. It's the fun. Sure. Here's the thing that like most people so, need to learn when they play older games games you don't have to kill everything on screen you don't have to like <laughs> i was difficulty. trying to use him to jump up yeah i was trying to do that yeah but so, but the thing i like the, uh, the, the hub world if you just look at mario sprite because um his hat is just painted all black he looks like a very small abraham lincoln <laughs> 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 when we when we get back to the hub world look at him it looks like abraham lincoln's going through this giant house oh my god i've never thought of that uh, well, a house divided cannot stand. So. <laughs> See, gathering the six coins is actually a metaphor for Lincoln bringing the Union back together. Oh, wait. Oh, so, what's the, the uh, analog the to... See, like, that's he why that's why the boss the is a warrior. It was an American <laughs> Civil War. It was American versus American. Mario versus Mario. Oh, is that why they never made an actual Super Mario Land 3? Because it would have begun with Mario being assassinated? Yes. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Oh, guys, guys, Mario Brothers 3 he has eight lives. Guys, Mario Brothers 3 is a stage play. That's where Wario assassinates Mario. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it is. Oh, man, so we're getting back to the together. timeline. There we go. So it's Super <laughs> Mario Brothers, Brothers 2 Japan, Brothers 2 USA, which is him sleeping. 
and then Mario and then Land it's Land One, one and Mario two. Land right. Two, and then right. Mario Brothers Three. At the end of it, that's when Mario gets assassinated, and then the Wario Land series begins, and everything else is just a hallucination Mario envisions in the minutes before he dies. Oh, <laughs> a, a, so Yoshi is a so Yoshi's so the, a figment of his so imagination. The, the cake was indeed a lie. Oh. oh Jesus Christ! That's, that's the wrong that's a good one. <laughs> even even for us, that's a fucking dated reference, my friend. I know. I'm an old man. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Well, I, I guess it could have been worse. You could have just recited the all the lyrics to, to "Still Alive." I do that occasionally. Yeah. I can sing Smash Mouth. <laughs> Who told you? Oh. Who I mean, it's not a bad song. No, I, I, I never love dies. like. Jonathan Colton songs like I still listen to fucking re your brains like what the fuck? once a month. I'm trying to jump. <laughs> you know how to jump. Oh Mario God. failed the it's jumping the jump in between button. courses. Look, there's only it's... two buttons on the Game Boy. <laughs> Which button do you think it is? <laughs> Miyamoto help us. The system has failed. Steph Stefan is immune to the Nintendo system of game learning. Uh, it's true. I, was, I wasn't even using an NES jump. control. I wasn't even using a Game Boy controller in this. A Game Boy controller. Yes. Game it's called a Game Boy. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's see Abraham Lincoln. Just okay, Game Boys. I, How many I Game Boys? Abraham Lincoln. Top hat, I guess. It's Abraham Lincoln. He's uh. Yeah, he's 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 fighting for us. He's fighting those vampires. I saw that. That's canon. Whoa. The wizard took the life. <laughs> Which, ah. which, which coming up, there are vampires in this game, so it'll, it'll check exactly. out. Exactly. It'll check out. Hey. So, <laughs> right, so, 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 Super Mario Vampire Hunter, is that before or after the original run of Buffy? Uh, way uh, before. Just reads a fucking uh, hack, he stole it from Mario World. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, they're, they're bringing back Buffy, there's the film version, uh, there's the comics... There's Angel. There's well, uh, Bones, well, which I think is a spin-off of Angel, it's, right? So the comics... <laughs> no, because no, 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 the comics are canon to the show. The comics are actually even named seasons after the comic. And then they are. Angel... And so, which, n welcome to my realm, bitch. So Angel is the spin-off from there. And then you have Angel and Faith right now. Because right. they just can't let go of Eliza Dushkun's amazing, amazing character. Because Elijah oh. Dushku is what is the best thing that ever happened to the universe. And it's, it's weird because like, I've, I've, I've never read any of those seasons, but occasionally I'll read up on what they've done, and sometimes I'm just like, that's the dumbest fucking they thing. They do ever. some weird ass shit, like they turn Willow into a shapeshift. <laughs> I just, I just remember, isn't it like the uh, b b before the you, movie you Twilight, like the big villain of season eight is called Twilight, and it's just funny in hindsight. But I, I just remember the what there's, 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 I, I, I don't want to spoil it, but there's they kill off one of the main characters. Oh, in, they, in like they kill off pretty Twilight? early on. No, yes, <laughs> Buffy killed Twilight, but they no. kill off. Okay, they hold on, wait, no, because like, eh, Buffy, the, the the big bads for Buffy had awful, awful names too. The first one is literally the Master, and then uh, season five you have Glory. I, well, that's like her nickname, <laughs> but the names were never really all that good. Like even the the final season, what is it? The the big bad is just like he's just called the Ancient One or like the original Evil or something. It's They've been oh. bad at naming people. And then you get into to Angel, and then Angel has some all kinds of fucking wackadoo, like Eldritch evils that brainwash all of humanity to be happy. Like Angel is amazing. Up. Okay, so which see so Angels in the Outfield? Between which seasons is that movie? Uh, That's, six and seven. Uh, <laughs> six and seven. Wait, which is the episode Joseph Gordon-Levitt showed up in? What of Angel? Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's an episode of Angel. No, because yeah. he said Angels in the Outfield. Oh, I don't get it. Maybe Pumpkin you're thinking of Angels zone. in the Infield, the lesser-known sequel. <laughs> so you can't do that to me, Stefan, because there have been like big people on like we didn't. Jeremy Renner shows up with an episode of Angel. Yeah, oh, like they, they get people on on those shows. It's like I can't do that to me. I'll believe just about anything because there's a lot of episodes. <laughs> And it was back in like the right. '90s, so like it would be like before most of them were like really big famous. So it's like, yeah, even more believable. 
I love little the fact that in mask. a Mario game, there's an enemy. It's just, just a fucking walking Jason head with a still fucking knife in its forehead. He, <laughs> that's it fucking male. That's needed, fucking male as fuck. Jason needed to do something in between the movies. <laughs> why? Why will right. Mario just take the knife out of their face? Th this is what happens, and Jason goes to hell. Uh, <laughs> First he went to Manhattan, then he went to Mario World, and then he the went hell. to hell. I was saying the <laughs> angel was better than Buffy. There, I said it. I fucking said it. Oh, yeah, agreed. No, no, you're not. No, Buffy's better. Yes, mm. really. Mm. No, no, please. Really, Buff Buffy, dude, dude. Like, like, I log it. I love me some Buffy. I love me some Buffy. But season six and season seven, um, no yeah, thank you. Yeah, dude, it, it drops once that girl graduates high school. Angel has like an overall average, <sighs> way better consistency. Well, you got to be careful where you say that phrase. But no, it's true. Buffy gets is really awful after she graduates high school. <laughs> I th I, I, I mean, I, 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 ain't I, perfect, I, for sure. I actually, I actually think the best season of television Josh Weed, that has Josh Weed's name on it is Angel Season 2, and it's because they've confirmed he had almost nothing to do with that season. And next, Season 2 of Angel is fucking amazing. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, huh. Although, it's, it's before Fred, though, and to me, like, the show doesn't really feel complete until, like... Well, Fred, yeah. Fred comes at the end of season two. It counts. It counts. Was she season two? Yeah, because season three was when she was like, like in the real like, world trying to like yeah. adjust, and then season four was the whole brainwashing thing, and then season five is just pain, misery, and suffering, and despair. The the, the thing that always trips me up it's about fucking Angel Dracula. Is that... <laughs> oh, he's dead. Kid no, Dracula. That was quick. The, the, the thing that always trips me up. The thing that always oh. trips me up about Angel and like a lot of their shows like that is when you have like a character who's like one of his big like things is having a real like intimate relationship uh, with like one of the characters from the other show and then you're gonna t get rid of that and just have him be completely separate and you can't have him like have any yeah. more relationships with the other character because oh they're in the other show yep. and I kind of feel that like was... they kind of like well I mean well see th 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 I get he that, does that with two characters what about Stefan it's, th it's like I get that but they there's a plot read, like they set that up but at the end of Buffy season three. As to why he yeah, moves away, so like it, 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 in context of the show, it makes sense. And also, but uh, during the first few seasons, they would cross over pretty regularly. So oh. you know, it isn't it, it isn't like they never saw each other again. That was bullshit. Yeah. Now yeah. I know how Miwa feels. <laughs> <laughs> um, just uh, uh, we we have to say something to get Steven engaged. Oh yeah, Steven, uh, Dan Harmon wrote every episode of Buffy. No, he didn't. He did he would have? He would have told me. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan Harmon. Dan Harmon wrote Monster House. How do you feel oh. about that? He didn't write Monster House. He wrote half of it, and the studio wrote the other half. The, the that's, studio. That's the studio as a collective entity wrote the second half of that. They movie. They got someone else to finish it because he didn't like the way yes, it was going. Yes, dude. We've all seen Sweatbox. We know how it is. They just go in and are like, "No, change your movie right now." And then, oh. and then Sting gets the, all grumpy about it. it was, but in the sweat box, it was for the better, so... It, it was yeah, straight up, like... Groove I, fucking amazing. Uh, Sting was so mad. He, he went to Tibet, he was so mad. <laughs> he went to the world, baby. <laughs> Who? What? Sting? Sting? The singer. Oh. Uh, yeah. He went to Tibet, and then... Didn't the Beatles go to India for I thought a bit? you said he went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he probably did like, at like, some like, point. Like, he... Fuck okay, this shit, I'm so sorry. So he didn't go reactionally, like, he was going to Tibet regardless, but it was, it's just kind of funny, because, like, the way that the events play out, he, like, his songs got, like, declined in the movie, so he went to Tibet, and then there's footage of him being all sad in Tibet, it's like, aww. Well, his songs are still, some of his songs are still in the movie. No, one of his songs is still, is still in the movie. The best, it was a good one. It's no, good he, one. he, well, he did, he did the, uh, he, he did, he did both songs. He did the, like, the main song, the main Tom Jones song, and he did, uh, what, the, like, Sting, the, the credit song. That? Yeah, he wrote it. Huh. And then, and, and then in the soundtrack has the Yzma song. <gasps> I love the Yzma song, it's so good. I don't think I've ever heard it. Play it now. Snow mm -hmm. felt the light. It's so good. Yeah, because that was when they were... Spider-Man were... musical song. <laughs> Oh man, Spider Man. He, they had a musical. So did Superman. That was bad. <laughs> so, so you say that. <laughs> I think. Have you guys ever seen Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt? 
They yeah. do a whole like uh, Spider-Man yeah. musical shtick, and like one of the songs they're not. They're just like, and there's that Spider-Man, and those Spider-Man, and all the other Spider-Man, and it is just kind of funny in the context of uh, Into the Spider-Verse. It's like, yep, if you all had the died. other spider -Man. So I guess there was there was um a joke in Spider-Verse where they referenced where Peter B. Parker references in his universe there's, there was a Spider-Man musical with songs by U2 and everyone starts laughing at him. <laughs> He's like, no, I swear it's true! <laughs> yeah, I can oh, see, you, can't yeah. Des you can't destroy the ghost goombas in this one, can you? Yeah, you can't jump on a ghost! Dead. They're Kill fucking ghosts! ghosts. <laughs> yeah, because they're already you dead. Need, you need a vacuum cleaner. They're goombas. Okay. My Oh. Am I the only one who, uh, <laughs> when they see These are the, all the Goombas you squished. The, the oh, that's The big mini-map. Doesn't it look like one of those, like, play toy set things where, like, you would... It's like a plastic like clamp show. Yeah, like those. I swear this yeah. level looks it like does. one of those things. It looks like, it looks like a, a very mm -hmm. tiny Mighty mm -hmm. Max or a very scary Polly Pocket. Okay. It, reminds, the, it reminds me of, like, Mousetrap a little bit for some reason. I'm not sure why. Also, the, the the music in this level is a remix of the uh, the the pipe uh, music from Mario Land One. Yeah. It's also it? the weakest track in the game. Oh, it is. Yeah. You know what? You know what? It also kind of because of how it, to me it it kind of sounds like the opening few notes of Sorcerer's Apprentice. Dun, yep. Dun, 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 That's dun, all I keep dun, hearing. Dun, dun. <laughs> all right. <laughs> But Which no. uh, I mean, like one one of the songs is literally just the the can can, so it's possible. <laughs> yeah, see, like this this was kind of it, when it wasn't uh, too shameless to use a. Uh, <laughs> use it. Ka Ka Kazumi Totaka, he he make he makes some of the best. Uh, oh, uh, Nintendo. Yeah. This, this actually kind of sounds like his little like personal jingle. Um, the, yeah, cause so he yeah. also because he puts it in I... Link's Awakening too. What's that? What's that called? Is it says so like personal Totaka song? So yeah. So I guess I guess for like years people were like, "Where is that?" But I think it's something like if you s on like the game over screen. If, yeah, you have to you... wait like five minutes. I, mean, I was gonna please. say that's the farm, but that's fine. Take my thunder. I mean, that's that's cool. That's <laughs> Look, fine. I don't know if you knew this, but there's a song that plays after in the game <laughs> over screen after a few minutes. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, David, continue. What? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I guess the guy who wrote this song, I, I think his name was Sting. Uh, huh? He wrote the music for this game, and if you if you let if you let the game over screen just sit for a while, uh, you'll hear the song "Gangsters Paradise" by Sting. Are, are you right? fucking kidding me? <laughs> wow, I, just, wow, I David. truly missed out. Yeah. You know, but but by now we'll find out if that's true. <laughs> this th this is why. It's, Super Mario Land 2 is just such a unique game, and when we say it, it's straight from the Mario formula, we fucking meant it, my dudes. Alright. Well, apparently the game was supposed to stray even further from the Mario formula in its original incarnation, oh, but, what, uh... What, in what way? What, uh, what, what's I don't your think you set up for, David? I'm not. I'm Like, if you if you look up the behind-the-scenes, because uh, the director of this game, he... Like, this was the first game that he directed. He's the guy that designed <laughs> Wario. He also designed Samus from Metroid, which I guess also ties in because the producer, um... Gun Gun Yokoi? Right, because, you know, he... Right, because isn't Metroid his thing? Right. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Right, but yeah, so, um... Hey. Right, uh, I guess originally because, you know, they're, they're main, there's the main Mario games, and they wanted to try and do something completely different, but they stopped whatever they were originally doing because they felt it went... it strayed too far from what the core of Mario... No, was. was that David? Was that a their decision, or was that a Miyamoto got pissy? Because he's he's quite well known for getting pissy at things. Right. I um. I don't think he was involved at like pretty much at all in the land games. Yeah, like Mario Land One and Two weren't they weren't his babies. He didn't. Well, you, we, which, well, yeah, which well, yeah, but like, oh, he was it. more involved with this one. Well, yeah, it it. It's like, I know he wasn't technically like, involved in his production, but get that fucking coin stuff on, or I'm gonna have a fit. <laughs> um, but like, but I got, there's a thing of coins right over there. I'll be fine. Every the same thing things about you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's like, it's like I'm sure Miyamoto at that point would have, would have, like, I'm sure he would have looked at it somewhat, and he, he could have been like, I don't like this. I don't like it, change it. Right. I don't like this one, but... Well, like, I guess in the interviews, they're kind of vague, but I, I think... 
They've, they've never said outright, as far as I know, that Miyamoto had a huge, uh, like, uh, influence as to the shift in direction. That it was more like, oh, it is still a Mario game. I think it was a case where Nintendo looked at it and went, ah, no! Uh, they, they looked at it and went, well, this doesn't... <laughs> When people see, think of a Mario game, this is too different. They're they're gonna want to see certain aspects of the Mario, of what people think of Mario. So I I guess that's probably why the Wario games are able to depart from what a traditional Mario game is because Mario isn't Wario. Man, they were game. friends as kids, maybe. Why aren't you just game. jumping on her? <laughs> game theory is this boss just pre Kamek? No. Yeah. <laughs> in in the canon, where did Wario come from? Uh, His in mother. The, in the, uh, <laughs> the concentrated well, darkness in... from Mario that he like compartmentalized outside of him, but he didn't control. So now it's turned into a cosmic destroying entity. You know, Mixie, Mixie, you Phoenix. weren't too far off. In, in literally in official Nintendo canon, it says that when they were children, Mario and Luigi used to bully Wario. It's their fucking fault. <laughs> wow, oh, that's wow. fucked oh, up. Dude. Damn, Wario is a victim here. But Fuck what did you, they do Mario. to Waluigi? Well, Waluigi is just a figment of Wario's imagination because he was buddy so much as a job. <laughs> oh, I guess that's <laughs> why he's not someone to play with him. I'm gonna have tennis. my own brother. Wow. <laughs> 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 One who's nice to me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm fuck the body of <laughs> <laughs> But you'll never be in a Smash Brothers. Wow. Right, because he doesn't exist. Next part. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 